to bring up another very special guest tonight. He's head of the organization that's doing so much for the people in LA County, all over LA County. I'm here to tell you a little bit more about the services that are possible by your efforts. Please welcome APLA Health Chief Executive Officer, Craig Thompson. So, assuming my mic isn't sabotaged. Um, <laughs> thank you, Ellen, Press, Jimmy. Congratulations to Mickey and all of our terrific sponsors and all of you here tonight. We could not operate APLA Health. We could not provide the services we do without each law cross agents. It's our largest fundraiser, and it works because of all, all of you. So, I want to give all of you. Okay. I want to give all of you a big round of applause and congratulate yourselves once again. There we go. Okay. So APLA Health, it's a new name for us, but it's the same mission we've always had. For the last 33 years, we've provided care and support to people living with HIV and AIDS in Los Angeles County. Just a couple of facts that I think are important to know. There's 60,000 people living with HIV and AIDS in this county. That's the second largest number in the United States. We have about 2,000 new infections a year. So our services are as critical as they've ever been. There's more people living with HIV and AIDS in 2016 than there have ever been in the county of Los Angeles. Our expanded mission does not in any way draw back from our commitment to helping to serve those people. We, we, our services, and increasingly our services, are for people who are over 50 or 55. Many of our clients live on very low incomes, they're older, they're living on under $800 a month in Los Angeles, they've been living with AIDS for many years, they need a lot of support, they need a lot of help, and APLA Health is there for them because of you. We operate 20 programs from 15 sites across the county. What that means is there's an APLA health program regardless of where you live in Los Angeles County. Some of our signature programs, our NLP program, the food bank program which you know about, is the largest in the country. 130,000 bags of groceries a year to low income men, women, and children from across the county. Our expanded housing support programs just recently opened the first housing support services in South Los Angeles, an area in desperate need of both housing services and support for people with HIV and AIDS. I don't think you have to walk, leave the newspaper much or see much of television to know or even just drive around in your car to realize that homelessness is perhaps the biggest issue that the city of Los Angeles and county of Los Angeles face. Every day, we help people with low incomes, unstable housing, living with AIDS. That's what we do. That's what you allow us to do. Additionally, we're leaders in public policy and advocacy, and I'm pleased to say that just yesterday, Governor Brown signed a bill that APLA Health sponsored that we've been working on for many months that makes California the first state that guarantees when you go in for an HIV test and you test negative that you are counseled on some of the new HIV prevention interventions that we have, like PrEP and PATH. So in California, that's that. I expect other states to follow our lead very quickly. We're very proud to be able to do that. But in addition to serving 60,000 people living with HIV and AIDS, we, for the first time in this county, are beginning to talk about ending the epidemic. Now, we're not going to end the epidemic this year or next year, maybe not for a decade or more, but we can see that we can get to ending AIDS in Los Angeles County. APLA Health will be the catalyst for making that happen. And how will we do that? We'll do that by getting more gay and bisexual men, mostly young gay and bisexual Men, mostly young gay men of color, tested, and if they are HIV positive, into treatment. We'll provide more free HIV tests 
tests, more STD screening and treatment, and we will provide PrEP and PEP and condoms and all the other prevention interventions that we know that we keep HIV, H, people HIV negative. By doing that, by making this healthcare accessible, culturally competent, friendly to the LGBT community, but particularly to gay and bisexual men and the transgender community, each year we will bring down that number of new infections from 2,000 to 1,800 to 1,600 to 1,400, et cetera. That's how we're gonna end the epidemic in Los Angeles County. So what? Yes, absolutely. It's remarkable to someone like me who's been working in this movement for 19 years to be even be able to think about the fact that we can end AIDS. We focus on gay and bisexual men. Why? 2% of the American population is gay men. 80% of new HIV infections in Los Angeles County are among gay men. 80%. And if current HIV infection trends continue, one in two black gay men and one in four Latino gay men will have HIV at some time during their life. 50% and 25%. Those numbers are absolutely unacceptable. The number in the transgender community is probably higher. We just don't even have good data. So these are some of the reasons why we focus our services on those at highest risk. That's where we can have, where your dollars can have the most impact. Part of this movement over the last couple of years was to open our Gleisher Chen Health Center, bringing medical care, dental care, and behavioral health services to South Los Angeles. PrEP and PEP, HIV medical care. It's a beautiful facility in Baldwin Hills. And just a month ago, two months ago now, we opened a new health center in Long Beach, bringing health care and, and PrEP and PEP and mental health and dental care to the LGBT community and those at high risk for HIV in Long Beach. Getting to, new, new, getting to zero, getting to fewer HIV infections each year is gonna be a challenge. It's gonna be hard. But we have a plan, we know we can do it, we have a roadmap, and we have the most important thing, and that is your continued support. This has been a partnership for 32 years. We couldn't do it without you. I'm so proud that you are our partners, our supporters. You remain committed to caring for people living with this disease and living a life where we can say we ended AIDS. Thank you so much, and thank you for being part of Seeing you at Grand Park for a wonderful walk on, on, on Sunday, October 23rd. Thanks again.